Fresh and Fit have been demonetized off of YouTube. Uh, they were one of YouTube's biggest money makers as far as like the super chats and things like that. And I think YouTube gets like 30% of that revenue. So that's a lot of money for YouTube to let go. And it's definitely a lot of money for Fresh and Fit to lose. And of course, be, because of that, you had Myron who was the fit and fresh and fit he, he cried walked off stage and they were both confused they didn't even know why youtube decided to drop them or, or demonetize them because they can still play their videos they can still post their videos on youtube but they're just not gonna get paid for it now they are on other platforms um they are you know uh, streaming on other platforms so they'll still get paid there but i guess um majority of their money came from youtube which is understandable because that's where they got started at and, and youtube still has the largest audience and so to me when i see that first of all i don't like fresh and fit and i see fresh and fit for what they are like two losers who never got girls and i just they want to be mean to women now they have a lot of fair points as far as like the dynamic between men and women and how women don't see the hypocrisy and a lot of stuff they say, yada, yada, yada. That's true. But then they drag, they take it to like the next level of just like, I'm just, I just hate women or just be mean to women or women mean nothing and like just disrespectful. They take it to a whole nother level that I'm not comfortable with. And a lot of people are not comfortable with it's including YouTube. But let's really dive into Fresh and Fit and what happened to them because their opinions on women and their opinions on relationship, I don't think that's the sole reason why YouTube finally decided to demonetize them, which is something that a lot of people expected to happen. I think even uh, uh, Myron said that they were expecting that. Let's look at this. They started bringing on like uh, right wing extremist groups, uh, alt right people like Nick Fuentes. They had him say the N word. They brought, uh, or Myron went on this tirade calling people the N word and wore a KKK um, mask sheet thing on his face and, and, and was acting like he was a racist member of the Ku Klux, Ku, the, the Ku Klux Klan. And then they turn around and be like, well, I don't even know why we got banned. Well, you guys went too far. You went too far in a direction that was unnecessary. The women bash and stuff, you probably would have been fine on YouTube if you had just kept with the women bash and stuff. But you want to go into like attacking different races, attacking black people, kind of alluding to attacking Jewish people, and you made it personal to a person's race, skin color, uh, religion. Even if you didn't really mean these things, or if, even if you didn't really care about this, you brought on the attack dogs for it. So that made you a fair game to being kicked off. Or not kicked off, but being demonetized. Now, I understand a lot of people are going to say, this is free speech, free speech. Fresh and Fish should be able to say whatever they want to. Well, they are able to say whatever they want to. Under YouTube's guidelines, they're they're still able to say whatever they want to. They're just not going to get paid for it. And YouTube being an independent company, they have the right to say what they... They have the right to say who can monetize off of their platform and who cannot. Is that not fair? And if you don't think that that's fair, that means that you want to control and regulate businesses. And I think most of the people who would say that that's not fair probably uh, would lean more conservative, which would violate everything you truly believe in as far as corporations, business being able to operate the way they want to, right? So now you got a rock and a hard place if you try to side with Fresh and Fit who do themselves also lean more conservative. Look, at the end of the day, this is the this the the, the, uh, the chickens coming home to roost. That's what this is. They thought that they could be the big bad bullies and 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 they could be mean and disrespectful and shocking and say whatever they want to say and there would be no repercussions. But there are repercussions. Now they're saying that they're trying to talk to YouTube right now, so who knows if this is going to stick permanently? But at least they're feeling it enough that Myron ran off crying. And um, as Tariq Nasheed called it, his hoochie daddy shorts. <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens, but I don't I don't feel any sympathy for them. I think the lead attorney himself even said, that, hey, 
they were trying to get other people's platforms demonetized by doing copyright strikes even though they're even though the people that were com- commenting on them were in fair use so now that they now that they're being treated like the big bad guys who are doing all the wrong things they want to cry they would act sad speak in a soft tone all hurt and depressed it's not really much sympathy there you know at least for me uh, people like Fresh and Fit actually kind of made me realize I'm not a Manosphere guy. I was a Kevin Samuels guy. Kevin Samuels really talked real about what was going on, but he still had respect for women. He would go off on a woman that would call in because they would say some crazy stuff, but he still had respect for women and he still cared about the relationships working. And you hear Fresh and Fit or people like Andrew Tate, and they're like teenagers the way they talk. You can't take them serious. That's my two cents on it. Uh, but let me know what you think. Do you think that this is fair that Fresh and Fit are being demonetized? Uh, do you think that this was a happy medium for YouTube, who have long since been criticized for censoring people, saying, well, you can still post your stuff on our platform, we just won't pay you? Or do you think that um, this is completely unfair, and that even though they aren't outright, outright censoring Fresh and Fit, um, they are costing the money. They're not going to be an algorithm, algorithm anymore. And that, you know, this is wrong. Especially when you're the biggest platform and you're the biggest money maker. It's the Wackass Podcast. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. It's the Wackass Podcast. Talk whack to me, talk whack to me, talk whack to me, talk whack to me.